Ah, and the second place is XZ. Okay, that that makes sense because that was just everybody was getting views on that one. Yeah, I I kind of feel a little icky about that. I, it just makes me, um, I don't know. It's kind of like low frank, low hanging fruit, you know. That's when when you, what I do for me at least, you know, it's like I'm not. I'm not technical enough to understand the intricacies of that, but at the same time, I was, I felt very, um, I felt very good about Debian and their cycle so that none of the stable, n n you know, no, none of the stable users were affected at all by that exploit. Yeah. So there is some benefits to using really old software. <laughs> Yeah, I think I, I've had this thought recently about the way software packaging is done. I don't know if you get, like, you see any of the conversations that are happening, but there is this, I guess, argument brewing about who should be doing software packaging, whether it should be the distro doing it or it should be the upstream developer with things like flat packs, app images, and snaps. And I'm absolutely of two minds about this because I see cases like, XZ, where this only got stopped because there was a long cycle before it made its way into stable. It did make its way onto Arch, but Arch didn't ship the, uh, the patch that caused it to happen, and nothing else, like Fedora also has systems in place, it hadn't made its way into stable yet. That's one of the good things about it, but then there are cases like, recently, um... I actually just put this video out today for anyone just, uh, I don't know, what, whatever date it is today for anyone listening. This will be out in a couple of weeks. The 14th of May. <laughs> yeah, something like that. Uh, I think it's yeah. the 15th here. Yeah, 15th. Oh, here. yeah. Yeah, because well, yeah, I'm in the yeah. future. Um, yeah. But the KeyPass XC package, which is a pa uh, password manager, the maintainer of that decided that instead of having a single package that has all of the functionality, he split it out into a minimal package as the default package, and then the optional package is the full package. This led a bunch of users to see, like, random things just don't work. Like, their YubiKey didn't work, and they couldn't access the password database. So in cases like that, I absolutely see the value in the upstream packaging, because you know the developers are going to package it the way that they want it to be shipped, but... Mm -hmm. I don't think there's any clear answer about who should be doing the packaging here. And I, I don't yeah, think I anyone... Video, who, by the way. Yeah. I think anyone who, who has... Who, who thinks they have a clear answer, I don't think they've thought about the problem long enough, I'm being honest. I think that's fair. I, I, <laughs> it, it actually fascinated me because I was a, um, a KeyPass XC user um, for a really long time. I mean, I... You know, several years ago, I used... Um, um, Google Drive to have my database for my KeyPass XC, and right, right, right. I was I was just like, oh, okay, well, this is this makes perfect sense. I can move from one from one machine to another and still have my same uh, password database. Mm -hmm. You know, since I've like you, I think you know I've switched to Bitwarden, mm -hmm. um, but but I you know I was very interested in that in that particular discussion. I, I don't know that I have an answer either for that matter. Um, you know, it seems to me that the, um, that the, that the, uh, the contributor got a, kind of got shafted in the, uh, by the community, mm -hmm. um, more than anybody else. But the, um, but I understand, I understand the maintainer's viewpoint, mm -hmm. you know, that's just, yeah, I just don't have a very worldly view of, of the subject, you know, it's just, yeah, yeah. I yeah. think the main issue is there just wasn't any communication before it was done. Like, any time yeah. a change like this is done, I think like, you need to discuss it with Upstream. Because if they had put systems in place where, say, as I mentioned in that video, if a feature was missing, they could have a little dialogue there that says, hey, contact your distro about this feature missing or yep. something like that. Install the full version of the package. That, I think, would... Obviously, it would be annoying, but people who were affected by the problem, they would see, oh, there is an issue here, rather than just the feature they were using was just silently removed. I think that's that's the real problem there. And sometime down the line, you know, like two, three years from now, it'll be fine. You'll have people that install the wrong package and think, oh, okay, I installed the wrong package, got to install the other one. 
the issue is the people that are being transitioned over who didn't realize that they were being transitioned from the full package to the minimal package and are now just left kind of confused. Yeah, I, I, if I re remember from your video correctly, though, it only affected testing and testing SID and SID. User? yeah, 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 testing. Yeah. Well, there you go. Be unstable. <laughs> well, the problem is, it's eventually going to make its way to stable. No, so. I get that. I was just kidding around, <laughs> but um, hopefully, it, it gets rectified by the by the next cycle. Though, you know, when when Trixie comes out, summer of 2020, uh, 2025, mm -hmm. you know. A lot of this stuff should be kind of like, you know, streamlined so that yeah, yeah. there's not going to be that kind of uh, thing, which is, you know, which is one of the things that, um, you know, I, I get comments all the time. It's like, listen, if, you know, what should I do about, um, you know, should I go to testing? Should I go to SID? And I'm like, dude, that's, that's a completely personal thing. I mean, if you, if you can get your work done using stable, then just use stable. Mm -hmm. You know, because for me, I, I don't even care. And I don't have to have the, I was telling you before we started recording, you know, I don't even, I don't use Caden Live. I just, I don't have a need for the latest and greatest software. I just mm -hmm. don't. I mean, you know, when we talk about BSPWM, I don't even think it's been touched in the last five, six, seven years. Let's have a look. That sounds close to right. 